cryptocurrencies now. China is considering banning Bitcoin mining. The country's National Development and Reform Commission is proposing that ban, calling Bitcoin mining seriously wasted resources. Those are their words. Bitcoin mining does require large numbers of computers dedicated to crunching out blockchain numbers. Banning Bitcoin mining, though, that's not really the same thing as banning Bitcoin entirely. Joining me now to discuss is Taylor Letterman, a cryptocurrency analyst with Simpler Trading. Taylor, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So in 2017, China banned cryptocurrency exchanges that serve local people. Uh, that caused a plunge in prices, but obviously that's a very different situation than banning Bitcoin mining. Even so, if this proposal was passed, would you expect to see Bitcoin dip again? Uh, yeah, I, I would say somewhat of a pullback, but even though the proposal is being proposed currently and being consulted on, uh, we've actually seen Bitcoin go higher today. So we'll wait to see as we approach, I think May 7th is the deadline for the consultations around this proposal. Um, but again, this is not even the first time we've seen proposals to ban Bitcoin mining in China. We saw the same thing last year, last January come out. Um, and this one was kind of pushed by the China central banks. So that is something to consider when we see this is nothing has been done in 2017, 2018. Um, but now uh, this new proposal by the planning committee, we'll see how they progress with it. Overall, I think a lot of the mining is starting to diversify out of China. We're starting to see some of that occur. Uh, but also, I think it's going to be very hard to regulate. A lot of the operations in China are going to be small, and they're, some are going to be even ran off private hydroelectric um, or renewable resources, where it's harder for the government to kind of step in and, one, know that they're mining, but also, to regulate that. And then they benefit the local um, regions as well, because taxation and so on, um, employment to these mining farms. So there's a lot of uh, impact on the economy if China does attempt to ban mining. Well, and in terms of banning mining too, wouldn't that on some levels actually cause the price to go up simply because you're not getting rid of or, or banning the use of cryptocurrency, uh, but you're, you might be slowing down the growth of that market. There's only what, like 17 million Bitcoin in circulation. And that would mean that the value of the other Bitcoins that are already out there, wouldn't, wouldn't that rise as a result? Right, so we'll start to see the mining there in China if it is banned, we're, I think it's going to be that void that we would potentially see in the hash rate or the mining capabilities of Bitcoin. I think it will be bought up quickly. We'll start seeing other uh, mining farms set up shops or ex expand because there's more opportunity to mine. And so whatever we see a reduction in mining in Bitcoin, I think it's going to be uh, crossed over real, real quickly as more of the businesses start taking advantage of that ban in China and then other nations and countries states begin to mine Bitcoin more yeah, heavily. Pick it up. Let's talk about Bitcoin's price because today's a happy day. If you like Bitcoin, obviously the price over uh, $5,400. It's the first time we've seen that since November of last year. Um, and it just keeps going in, up. In fact, if we take a look at this chart here, we see the, the, you know, the one year versus the seven day. The last seven days, the last two weeks really, have been pretty exciting. We had that single buyer purchase about $100 million in Bitcoin spread across a number of exchanges. Uh, the price has been able to hold above 5,000, now above 54, possibly moving to 55, even 5,600. Where do you see Bitcoin going over the next few months? Yeah, I think all eyes right now, especially us at Simpler Trading, we're eyeing that $6,000 level. Uh, that's going to be where we saw Bitcoin initially decline as we broke down to 3,000. And anyone that didn't already sell um, or exit the market, uh, capitulated and left, sold their position at a loss. Um, I think we've kind of reached that point, and I don't think anyone's going to be trying to sell or break even at 6,000. So what we're looking at, the supply around 6,000 is going to help pump Bitcoin up higher, but it's still going to be major resistance. So it's going to take a lot of effort in the market. The bulls are going to have to come to work, um, really trying to push Bitcoin over that level. Uh, so it's something to watch, especially over the coming weeks. Uh, I think we will want to see some consolidation in the market. Volume, volume is still quite high, uh, rivaling what we saw in our late 2017 as Bitcoin broke to 20,000. So right now, what we're going to see is a bit of consolidation, help kind of neutralize some of the buying, uh, or, and then see how we progress going into the 6,000 level. That's going to be key um, going forward with the crypto market. Yeah. So, so uh, if you watch the current graph, we had a little dip. Uh, that news was from yesterday. And uh, my personal opinion is that it's going to take a while before uh, we stay consistently in the 6,000 range. Uh, now that this correction is coming, um, I do feel like there's not too much momentum. I think that eventually there will be a recovery, but exactly what they were stating in the interview that they're going to need it to s stay at a solid uh, level, support level, which is probably not going to happen. Um, I do see it being pretty volatile for maybe another 
year or two. Um, and until we get clear regulations and stuff like that, we don't have positive news. I don't see uh, Bitcoin um, consistently being above the 6,000 level. But let me know your thoughts about this and I will talk to you guys soon.